kids around uh, the world. They come together once a year to compete on robotics activities. On the 6th of October 2012, we had 112 teams at Aspire Dome for the Catra National Robot Olympiad. They represented approximately 80 schools from across the country. At Hegwa International School, we made the robot and we programmed it. Is that a microphone? So cool. It should work. <laughs> it it should is programmed to work. <laughs> Every year, WRO designs a robotic challenge in the regular category for primary school, secondary school, and high school. The students have to come up with a design to solve that challenge, build it, test it, and program it, and then refine it until they can solve the challenge efficiently. So it goes straight, it turns, and it goes back around, and it turns, and it goes like... Good morning, everyone. We're now ready to start the assembly time period in the regular category. We have a chance, maybe. I need your help. What's more broad like? Me, the best man would. And then we have an open category for kids to really unleash their innovation and be creative and build whatever they want according to the theme. And the theme this year was robots connecting people. What does that mean? When you get the, when you get the prompt, it's just explosion of ideas comes to you. We had the RGB sensors and they were very compatible with the game of Uno, so that's how it began. We did teacher training for coaches throughout the summer, trained 150 teachers. It was really very good of College of North Atlantic to provide us with the training, with the Lego Storm kit, with all the support that any coach can ever request to get this uh, uh, happening. At the beginning, I thought that this would be very tough for them. But uh, once we started doing it, uh, they become very motivated, very much attached. Lego is fine, isn't it? Um, we just want to try, we just want to have new experience. We just want to um, yeah, <laughs> try it. Yeah, we just want to try it. We've been together since like the second week of school, so we only had about three weeks, two and a half weeks to do it. Sometimes we just spend from the morning until midnight working on the robot. But it really shouldn't sound like We've been laboring over the robot, really, because if you're doing what you like, it's just, it's just yeah. really fun. Don't break it. <laughs> Don't break it. You've got to be able to work collaboratively, and these guys were just exceptional. Did they butt heads? Yeah, of course they did. At, at various times, they kind of came, you know. I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Most of the time, what I found is they were talking things through. They were finding solutions. The NRO and WRO is a great way to take those skills that they acquire in the classroom and apply them in a practical manner. I am a lot because it will be the first step. I will be a scientist in the future, in the future. So, this will be the first step. And this will be the same time, and at the same time, it will be useful for the future, in the future. That's the most important thing. Well, the enemy are <laughs> the opponent. Yeah. The opponent. <laughs> um, they were very good 
and it's, it's making us nervous. They seem to do well in practice, yes. <laughs> and then like the rest of us, seem, more difficulties seem to arise when the nerves get more on edge. As the rounds went on, we kind of gathered a bit of confidence. It's not good. That's we good. are too scared too about scared, yeah. what the robots yeah. will do. We were just screaming joy. We were running around and it was against everyone's expectation for us to win. Not even ourselves, we didn't believe in ourselves. The, the feeling is, we cannot uh, tell you what the feeling, you know? Yeah. The top teams from the Qatar National Robot Olympiad traveled to the World Robot Olympiad finals in Malaysia and we had 10 teams travel to Malaysia. It's a very nice trip. Yes. It's like a journey. Yes. We learn uh, country ideas and see what's outside from Qatar and the uh, Arab uh, country. And this is nice. It was one of our first time traveling with like a school team, which was pretty cool. And at the same time, someone's gonna let me go to Malaysia to compete in a worldwide competition. It was just. It felt glorious, kind of. It was, it was really nice. They get a chance once a year to meet together and then really exchange culture and make friends and have a lot of fun and then just really learn from each other and build friendship around the world. China, Japan, Mexico, and Malaysia, South Korea. I've never been to Malaysia. It was interesting to see the culture, even all the like different cultures that are here and how they did robotics. This is a replica of the Mars Curiosity rover. Personally, I found the expert section really, really interesting because they really did some awesome stuff for the Legos. The things that people come up with, it's just mind-blowing. Willie Ann from the Black Eyed Peas asked us to build a robot that would go on stage and dance. Uh, runs all in the Lego Mindstorm. The open category is similar to a science fair where students present their work as a presentation to judges. It's really the tensest part of the competition because like you have the judges right next to you, but you know your time's coming and you just have to get everything set up before they get there. Once it's ready, it's gonna tell you initialize and then you can put your card in. To see all these great ideas, great robots, has opened our minds and created an atmosphere where we can go beyond what we're capable of doing. Our top team in the regular category, they were very pleased with themselves because they could solve the challenge completely in one minute and 50 seconds. So I said, so what are you going to do to improve it? And they said, oh, it's good enough. But the top team at the World Finals solved the challenge in under 45 seconds. How's the team feeling? Uh, shocked. <laughs> they said we, we, don't, we don't have chance to win. There is a uh, faster robot, fast, fast. faster than us, and uh, better, really better. better. I encourage them. I hope they will do, do uh, good today. 
but uh, we have uh, we have positive feeling, positive feeling. We talked about integrating the classroom knowledge they learn, but that's only the one aspect. There's many aspects they don't actually learn in the classroom setting. How to work together as a team. And then here in the competition field, how do you face if you have your robot didn't do accordingly? How do you face loss with dignity? They knew early on when they first saw the rest of the world's robots that they probably wouldn't do as well as they'd hoped, but they kept going at it. They kept solving the problems, they kept trying, they wanted to do it as, as well for themselves um, as for the competition in, as a whole. And so I guess at the last minute we were forced to uh, go for a really hard gamble and I guess we lost it. And I guess we learned a lot for next time. It's been uh, good because uh, we have uh, 34 from the world. This is uh, good for us. Yeah. And it's uh, the first time yeah. we uh, go to this competition. It's very, very good. Very good place, yes. As a country, Qatar's just getting started in this competition. But we still did fairly well. We placed sixth in the open category high school level. We feel great. I mean, it was a great achievement to get the American School of Doha on the board of uh, winners in front of the whole world to see that the Middle East is capable of competing at a world-class level. We feel that we do represent the country. You know what, I'm really proud of these guys. They have worked so hard this year. They're going to go into something where these skills will be valuable. And I just really think that this is the kind of thing that's going to help springboard them into great stuff. So I'm really excited for them. If 10 of 20 out of the 400 students that have actually been part of the robotics championship can go and, and, and major in engineering, uh, whether it's petroleum or otherwise, then we have succeeded in what we intended to do. I guess it's not all about robotics, otherwise they would have just made it in your own country. It's also about making new friends. You know, I watched them go from three guys that kind of knew each other to three guys that are like brothers now. This really made our relationship better. Um, this shaped our relationship. So, I guess we're we're really good friends right now. We're more than friends, I think. <laughs>